Well, welcome for today's lesson called Plural Noun Propositions. They're actually used for our Plural Noun Proposition papers or PNPs, as we like to call them here at Ravensdale Bible Academy. We believe that our Plural Noun Proposition papers are absolutely essential for our students to develop their, uh, their reading comprehension, their critical thinking skills, how they can clearly and concisely uh, communicate their points of view and, and really just the process of, of learning itself. And so we try to implement plural noun proposition papers in almost everything that we do. And so this is absolutely essential that, that you understand this process. And so plural noun proposition papers begins with, well, how do you determine your plural noun proposition? Well, what is a plural noun proposition? Real quick, if you haven't seen the uh, introduction video, here's an example. We were looking at nouns, right? You know, clues, insights, secrets, instructions. We, we're, we wanna make a, a couple different points. And so it becomes a plural, right? Three clues, eight insights, four secrets, five critical instructions, four instructions. So it's a plural noun. And then the proposition itself for making sense out of life into God's sovereignty, uh, to surviving in an unfair world, uh, for meeting with God, for repairing your soul. And so you put it together and you see some examples here, three clues for making sense out of life. And so how do we write a plural noun proposition paper? Well, it begins by determining uh, your proposition. So I'm gonna explain it to you. And ironically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a plural noun proposition. How do you determine the, pro the proposition of your paper? There are five easy steps. Step one, write down the question at the top of your page. Step two, brainstorm all ideas. Step three, choose your top three brainstorm uh, ideas. Four, look for possible alliterations. And the fifth and final step, look for possible acrostics. Do you see how simple that is? Do you see how right away, before I'm even finished, you know what my five points are. Uh, you know where I'm going and you have a really good outline uh, to take notes so that you understand uh, what I'm saying, my speech, my lesson, my lecture, my sermon. And so that's how we use uh, a plural noun proposition to get going. And we do this while we teach as well. And so the first step we want to teach you is brainstorming. And some people call it clustering. And this is where you you throw your ideas on the paper, uh, there's no right or wrong. You're, you're just, the first thing you can think of as fast as you can, uh, you, you wanna put it on paper and then you can kind of slow down there at the end. It takes you a lot longer to get the final, uh, the final couple ones, but uh, this is brainstorming. And so I chose a topic called, um, you know, what are your four favorite movies? And so the first step that we wanna do is what we want to do, be able to do is to uh, write at the top of the, of the paper your question. So what are your four favorite movies? I'm going to put that right in the corner. What are your four favorite movies? And I do that because so many times we we start throwing things down the pa on the paper and we uh, we really don't uh, remember what we're what we're writing about. Th this is how people get off topic. This is how people uh, go on rabbit trails. And so we want to be specific. We want to put that up there so that we don't lose track of what our actual assignment is. And so when I brainstorm, uh, I, I and, and I know I've already got a category of of four, right? So there's going to be four. Uh, for my favorite movies, um, I, I chose here in this example to use four different categories. You, you know, they could have all been comedies, but I, I wanted to try to uh, get my arms wrapped around, wow, how do I condense uh, a lot of different types of movies that I've seen uh, onto a piece of paper so that I uh, can come up with, with, with just four. And so what I did was I chose to uh, put them in different categories. So I began with sports, right? And then you just start writing these things down. So, you know, maybe I put, you know, Seabiscuit, not in any real particular order, 
uh, Moneyball, and you see the list I, I wrote over there, and let's say Rocky, right? And then I might, you know, go to Classics, and I say Ben-Hur, um, I go with Singing in the Rain, maybe it's Wonderful life okay then i chose to say comedy so i'm going to put down some comedies that, that i enjoyed um you know sleepless in seattle my big fat greek right you've got mail and then finally let's say action uh, saving Private Ryan, 310 to Yuma, Star Wars. Um, well, well, we'll stop there. So I've just showed you kind of the process here, but as you can see here, it's a, a little bit more expanded. Um, and so I've got them down. Now what I, what I need to do is I actually need to, to, to pick them, right? I, I need to come to some kind of conclusion because what's my question? What are your four favorite movies? Not what are your 16 favorite movies? The question wasn't even what are your four favorite sports movies or what are four different categories? No, it's just asking me for my four favorites. So I can choose uh, from, from any of these lists. And so, you know, on my example here that I gave, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna circle and say, uh, Ben-Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, um, Rocky, and I didn't even put it up here, uh, but Ultimate Gift, right? And so my final four, I would go through and circle, 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 and then that's how I come up with my, my final four main headings. So with that, now I can determine um, what are actually, what is actually going to be my final proposition statement. Now I could very easily just, just restate the question, right? I could restate the question. And again, this is a, another time of, type of kind of brainstorming here. You see it's blank. Now I'm just going to write out some, some different ideas for my proposition statement. I, I can just restate the question my four favorite movies are, or I could tweak it a little bit uh, for movies that I love, or I can say, I always love these four inspirational movies, or four must-see movies are. See, see how I kind of change that up a little bit and, and twisted it to come up with uh, my final proposition. Now, one of the other things I, I mentioned was alliterations and acrostics. Alliterations and acrostics. Well, what are those? Well, alliterations are, you take something like S, A, B, C, S. You, you take a letter. And the reason why we do these is, well, a lot of times we want people to remember what our, uh, what our position or argument was. And so if there's a, a, a nice way that we can help them memorize where they walk away and they go, well, the, the, his, his favorite movies were, mm, I, I can't remember exactly what his favorite movies are. Um, because they were, you know, Rocky, they were Ultimate Gift, Ben Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, kind of all over the place. But what if I said, you know, well, I'm going to use an alliteration, and, and my four favorite movies beginning with S are, and now I would go back and say, well, uh, choosing movies beginning with S, let's say I've got Saving Private Ryan, I've got Star Wars, I've got Sleepless in Seattle, um, and singing in the rain, right? So these all began with S. I've got four of them. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose those. So my alliteration, my four favorite movies, uh, all beginning with S. Were dot dot dot. The second way is acrostic, and a lot of times what I like to do. I don't think this is a very good one. Uh, a stretching here, right? Movie stars, um, and so you know my. My four favorite star movies are, and I, S-T-A-R, that's the acrostic. And so again, I'm looking for kind of, all right, if I, 
would find one and I went through this process. Okay. Okay. The S from Sea Biscuit. Um, you know, let's see. I didn't write it down here. I'm going to go the T from Troy. The A from Avatar. And the R. Again, I didn't write these down. Uh, the R from Return to Me. So that's Star. You see how my four favorite movies have changed, right? Uh, they went from just kind of the throwing them all down there and just kind of picking my four favorite movies. And then I tried to uh, get a little bit more cute and say, all right, well, my four S movies, alliteration, and then even more so with the acrostic, um, you know, the star of my four favorite movies are kind of a thing. So we can, we can adjust our proposition statement and sometimes this will help us. And the key, don't force it, because if it doesn't really work, then the acrostics can, can work the other way. So again, if I'm determining the proposition of my paper, plural noun proposition, my four favorite movies are Ben-Hur, It's a Wonderful Life, The Ultimate Gift, and Rocky. Pretty simple. Alliteration, the four S's that describe my four favorite movies are Star Wars, Singing in the Rain, Sleepless in Seattle, and Saving Private Ryan. Or acrostic. The star of my favorite movies are Seabiscuit, Troy, Avatar, and Return to Me. Now it's funny because I could remember uh, my last four because it was star and I just had to remember the first letter of the movie's title. So again, when you are determining the proposition of your plural noun proposition paper, five easy steps, write down the question at the top, brainstorm all ideas, Choose your three, your four, your five main ideas. Look for possible alliterations and then look for possible acrostics. If you do this, then you will become a whiz at plural noun proposition papers in no time.